So a bag contains a large number of coins. It contains only one pence and two pence coins in the ratio one to three. Find the mean and variance of the values of this population of coins. So we will write down the um, choices that we can get. So our two choices are 1p or 2p. The probability of getting 1p, as it's in the ratio 1 to 3, will be 1 quarter or 0.25. And therefore, the probability of getting 2p would be 0.75. Now, to work out the uh, mean and variance, we're going to need xp of x for the mean, and we're going to need x squared p of x for the variance. So, 1 times 0 0.25 is 0.25. 2 times 0.75 is 1.5. And to do the x squared, you've got to do x times xpx to get x squared px. So that's 1 times 0 0.25, which is 0.25. And the same way we're going to do 2 times 1.5, that gives me 3. So my totals that I require then, uh, 0 0.25 plus 1.5, 1.75, and 3.25. So with the values of e of x and e of x squared, we've got the mean then as 1.75. For the variance, we're going to need uh, e of x squared, subtract e of x all squared. So that comes to uh, 3.25 minus 1.75 squared which comes to 0 0.1875. We now need to write out the probability distribution um, of x, uh, the coins that we choose, so we'll do that next. So if we're taking samples of size 3, we could have 1, 1, and 1, 1, 1, and 2 in three positions, or we could have 1, 2, and 2, again, in three positions, or 2, 2, and 2. So if we look now for our av possible averages, then we could have an average um, of 1. Uh, if we have 1, 1, and 2, that comes to 4, so that's 1.33, or recurring, or 1.66 recurring, or 1 point, sorry, not 1 at the end, um, it will be 2 at the end, of course, 2 at the end, and 1.66. Now the probabilities to give the full probability distribution are going to be uh, 0.25 cubed or point or three times 0.25 squared or th uh, times 0.75 should I say for the two pence three because of the three positions so what I'm doing here is covering these three possibilities and then on to the 1.66 again you can see there's three ways that can be done so 3 times 0.25 times 0.75 squared, and finally uh, 0.75 cubed for the three two pences. So I'll write out the probability distribution now, and you can see on my calculator insert, I've written all the probabilities out and checked they came to 1. So the actual, in fact, I haven't <laughs> shown the probabilities, but um, we've got, let's uh, pause and then. And you can see I've inserted all the probabilities, and I've checked they come to 1, so I'm happy now that I've got all the marks for this part of the question.